Hi, I'm John Peter, Plant Records Manager at the New York Botanical Garden. The garden is home to thousands of plant species, and I'm here to tell you one of them in this video plant profile. Today we're going to take a closer look at the genus Aesculus. At a time of year when few other woody plants are flowering, Aesculus shines through. It is an attractive plant for the summer landscape and also a welcome plant for wildlife, including bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Depending on the species you look at, they go by many common names. Generally, North American natives are called buckeyes, while the Eurasian natives are commonly called horse chestnuts. One of the most common Aesculus we see in the urban landscape, Aesculus hippocastanum. The common horse chestnut has spectacular white to pink flowers in the spring. The fruits mature by late summer into a spiny green capsule which splits open to reveal one or two mahogany brown nuts. These nuts are not the same as chestnuts, which are in the beech family, rather they are in the soapberry family and produce poisonous nuts. One of the most recognized buckeyes in North America is the Ohio buckeye, Aesculus glabra. It is a native from the Great Lakes region south to Texas. It grows best in natural areas or in large parks. The seeds of Ohio buckeye are also poisonous when consumed by humans. Here is another North American native buckeye. Aesculus parviflora is a colonizing multi-stem shrub that forms a uniform rounded habit. The long terminal panicles of white flowers are held above the clean dark green leaves beginning in midsummer. The flowers attract a plethora of bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Needless to say, the seeds of this buckeye contain the same toxins found in other members of this family. This species is becoming more common in the landscape and can tolerate a variety of soil types and once established will perform well in full shade to full sun making it versatile for most landscape situations. Thanks for joining me for this video plant profile. For more information, visit nybg.org.